What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got myself, Brody, and Sage. As always, we got another financial breakdown for you. Before we get into it, if you haven't yet seen our giveaway that's going on for the 1,000 subscriber uh, celebration, go back to our video where we actually open these cards. So that would be a good video to watch anyway, so you don't have any spoilers. It's called Downtown Hunting Part 1. We're giving away this Donruss uh, blaster, and we're also giving away one of my signed putters. So go watch that video to see how you can enter in for those. And then also this Friday and Saturday to enter in to win this sweet Get Freaky signed by myself as well. Uh, we're going to be giving this away to anyone, to someone that orders something off of our eBay store. Uh, if you're new to the channel, that is a way for us to kind of continue to buy packs and keep this channel alive. So any support over on our eBay so store, we really do appreciate. The link is in the bio down below. All right, today we are going to be doing the 2023 Dunruss, Don Russ. There you go. I always say Dun Russ <laughs> or Don Ross. The Don Ra Russ uh, hobby pack. Sage, go for it. Yes, ho hobby box. Hobby box, we're gonna buy, not pack. We're going to buy boxes with all of this. And uh, if you want me to sign the Frisbee too, I will sign the Frisbee upon request. I just wanted to put that out there. Yes. That's a good point. <laughs> okay. Um, they're, they're like, Sage, do not sign it. Um, <laughs> all right. So it was $300 for this box. How'd you get the box? Uh, we got this one on i think blowout cards i think okay. was this was where we got this one i believe okay so a retailer and mm -hmm. um let's get into it so here's a here's some of the bulk that we opened you'll notice there's some inserts here and not really any rookies here and i did some quick you see steve young up there herbert did some uh -huh. quick research and you did too you're getting good at these comps and uh, it's hard to find good sales data, but about 50 cents to $2 in each. I just wanted to be conservative and I gave us $15 of bulk here. There's, there's a little bit of a curse that comes with bulk in bulk because you either have to split them up into lots, you can offload them for cheap, or you can put them up on individual auctions. And sometimes they don't sell for as much as, uh, the shipping materials, but I felt good about, yeah, we had two. We had two sales last week on our eBay that actually cost us money to to ship the cards. So yeah. we, we want to try to avoid that at all costs. But but there is value here. Some commenters have said, hey, you are getting some value. So I wanted to include this. So this is some of the highlights of the bulk. But at the end of the day, I think $15 is fair on this. And okay. we got a lot, of, a lot of cards to analyze here. So I'm going to keep moving through. Here's what I call the better bulk, right? Nine decent cards, uh, Brock Purdy in there, a couple of Brock Purdy's. Uh, you see a numbered card, Travis Kelsey, and you got my guy, Devontae Adams, up there in the in the top. And uh, mm -hmm. Dre Greenlaw, I guess you called him Drew on the last video. Yeah, yeah. I got called out in the comments <laughs> for that. Apologize. I didn't even notice. I couldn't even correct you. Apologize. For all 49er fans out there, I just I just saw a W after the the E for some reason. So yeah, uh, but yeah, some people want that. I saw that 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 had a few comps where some people you know bought it for a couple bucks. I think the Purdies could probably honestly go for ten dollars between the two of them. Yeah, um, it just depends on you know obviously when the auctions go up and when people are wanting them. But I, again, being like. We're not we're not going for like max value, right? We're going for what what is possible. So ten ten dollars on nine cars that makes a probably yeah. that makes probably sense. Try to be a little. It sucks to have a card that's like a dollar where the coal the coal card that's numbered. That's that's always tough to have a numbered card that's worth a dollar. Yes. That's that's rough. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's fifteen here, but always trying to be a little bit more conservative. Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Then this is the bulky rated rookie. So these are all rated rookies. And uh, I looked a couple of these up. And unfortunately, there's just no great players here. The names aren't where what we wanted. Deontay Banks, our guy. Uh, $5 in value total here. Unfortunately, um, well, we got some other 
rookies spoiler, and hopefully you watch the video. But not much here to uh, spend too much we're time. We're almost better. Yeah, we're almost better off, I think, with these cards on just holding them and either getting zero value for them or maybe a Max Dugan gets his shot or a DTR gets his shot, right? Like, and Or Sean Clifford gets his shot somewhere. And now all of a sudden, they're, these cards by themselves are maybe $5 or $4. I think that probably makes more sense than trying to get $5 for these rookies, right? Yes. Uh, if we wanted to sell these, uh, because we have a lot of inventory and, you know, focusing down our inventory, we could put these up in a lot with another, with a bunch of other yeah, cards. And maybe, that probably makes, maybe that probably makes like the that. most sense if you're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't want to do individual on these cards. Right, 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 right. Okay, next slide. The actual rookies here. Okay, so at the beginning I said maybe I'll estimate this, but no, I went through and looked up all of these. And there were some sales for like a dollar, some for three, some for a dollar fifty. So I just said, hey, average $2. But I looked up every single one of these cards, and I'm not doing a discount on this one because these are all about $2 cards. The Miles Murphy was not the guy we wanted on the gold canvas there. No, was that? I think that was numbered too, yeah, right? You can see there. I think it's numbered out of a hundred. It's tough to see. Um, also, I know it's Bijan, not Bijan. <laughs> I know it's Bijan. I I just like saying Bijan. Um, but yeah, I mean it's tough. I mean I thought Jordan Addison maybe I would have been a little bit more valuable, but I maybe that rookie's in like the that insert right because that is kind of like or a variation, I guess you could say that's. Yeah. Or is that a parallel? What would that was that considered? Yeah, I'm not too familiar with this set, but I think it's just um, a parallel called the rookies. And I looked him up, and he had a bunch of he had like four sales for a dollar, then one sale for three dollar of that card. So I was like, all right, yeah. I'll round it to two. I guess guess I I think that is just not as desirable. I think like if Jordan Addison was on that gold one, if they would if you would have switched yes. out with the Miles Murphy or or Sean, Sam Laporta would have been on the, the gold one instead of Miles Murphy. I think that card's a little bit more valuable. Sure. So, yeah, we just got the wrong name on the wrong card. Yeah. But these all add up. These all add up. And yep. let's go to the next slide. Bomb Squad. So these are cool. I love Bomb Squads. These are cool cards, and these actually have some value. Josh Downs was the miss, but still 2 bucks. And then Rice and Gibbs are about $4, and they have a lot of sales. Mm -hmm. So these are popular cards with a lot of sales, so I felt good about those comps. When you start to comp the bulk, there's a little bit of randomness on the bulk. Yeah, because sometimes it's just uh, – you don't really see on the high-value cards, you don't really see someone spend like $700, $700, and then someone spend $2,100. <laughs> but, uh, but on the bulk, you can see a dollar, 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 and then a $3 one. So you're kind of like, uh, why is that one going for triple? And, so. And yeah, I think, I think that's fair. I think what happens in some of the randomness is people will list cards for $5 or $7. And then and somebody will do a quick search and just maybe it got promoted and they just say it's five bucks. I'm going to get my kid this card. And they buy it without doing comps and without waiting to see that uh, and without waiting for okay. auctions. And then some people will list that same card that just sold for $5 for auction and it won't get a lot of views. The listing won't be ideal. And it goes for 99 cents. And then within two weeks, you have a $5.99, right? So it's just, it's a little randomness. Yeah. So it's not a perfect science. But that's okay. It's a little bit estimates here. And some of our cards have been selling on eBay and they've been pretty close to our estimates. Yeah, which is a lot to do with you guys. So we do really appreciate all the support. Yes. All right, now the fun stuff. Um, yeah. Below average bombs, Babs. And uh Babs. Yeah. Start with Crosby. This is my guy. I own a Devontae Adams and Crosby jersey. I have a Derek Carr jersey, but I don't count that one because he switched teams on us. So Crosby out of 75, four dollars. I was feeling pretty good about that card. Uh Patrick Mahomes, only one dollar. Will Anderson Jr., one dollar, not the Texans rookie. H Chan. All right, three dollars. Bijan, Bijan, Robinson, two. Bijan, two dollars. So, anyways, any thoughts about this um, below average? Yeah, I mean, 
obviously in this one the the no name uh brock purdy is probably the one that's going to stand out which i'm sure you're kind of waiting to to do a reveal on what that's going to look like we... but um I, I was I was somewhat surprised. I thought and maybe maybe Will Anderson Jr. Maybe his stock has kind of dropped a little bit. I thought he was like a a kind of a notable rookie that someone that you kind of no. wanted, but it just seems like his stuff doesn't really sell yeah. as much as the other rookies. No, you're right. He's a notable rookie. He's a, might win Defensive Rookie of the Year, and he's a big yeah game. He's a good he's a baller, but for sports cards, defensive players just do not go. Yeah. So. All right, here it is. Just kidding. Purdy yeah. is not a bab. I was trying to trigger you putting him on the yeah. bab. No. Slide. No, see that because I no, I knew you had some trick up your sleeve because I've we obviously sold that red Brock Purdy, which was just like not even that crazy of a rare card. We sold it for like ten bucks. Yes. So I, I knew the no name is a very rare, like it's very rare to hit that. And so the fact that we actually hit the no name on a Brock Purdy right now is nuts. Yeah. He's, he is one of the hottest like cars right now. in in uh, it's insane in, in sports. We, yeah. It's we got to put that on our stuff is going for our eBay store immediately. Uh, yeah. That'll probably be up maybe, maybe this week. Who knows? Yeah. And uh, keep keep an eye out. We got new stuff going up. If you don't know, we have new stuff going up on our eBay every Friday and Saturday. Those are the two days that we kind of put a lot of new stuff on. So yeah. definitely check it out every Friday and Saturday to see what's new. So I was surprised how much that was. Uh, and I was like, oh, I'll just troll Brody instead of redoing my slides. Okay. Parallel. That's nuts. Parallel rookies. Um, we got Zach and Tuli. People here. were, we kind of, we kind of were like, down talking to yeah. a little <laughs> bit and some of the people in the comments were like hey this guy's got potential but like you said he's a defensive player so yeah defensive player ceilings are so much um you know so much lower than offensive players but i guess he he could be a beast I, he could be a monster out of 13's insane this card is very rare there was never been a there's never been a sale of this card out of 13 at least none that I could find. So tough to find. So uh, and I guess he did get thirteen and a half sacks. That's pretty wild. They should have made it out of thirteen yeah. and a half. But uh, <laughs> um, the his forty five sold for twenty bucks. So I'm like, you know what? Out of a thirteen, that's one third is rare. I'm not gonna. I'll double it a little bit. So I said about forty five bucks. Okay. So. Um, is that, is the Zach Charbonnet, is that not as crazy of a card as we thought it was? No. I mean, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's a great card and, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Cause that is an optic, that is an optic preview. Right. Uh, I just found one that went for like four bucks. So I was like, oh, I'm going to take the more yeah. conservative. I always try to take the I, lower one. I think one also went for 10 or 20, but I saw one go for four. I think, I think he's another guy that I thought at the beginning, you know, I thought was kind of a big name rookie, but maybe his stock is falling a little bit towards the uh, playoffs here. Um, yeah. So he, we'll see. But I, I think he had a decent season, decent rookie season. Yeah. I mean, uh, tight ends are tough to get value on. There's only a couple that have value in the sports card world, really. It's all. Oh, is he a tight end? I always thought he was a running oh, back. What is he? I think he's a running oh, back. He might be. I've just never even heard of him. Thought I would have heard of him. Yeah, I think backs. he's a running okay yeah i think oh. I th i'm pretty sure he's a running back i could be wrong but i'm i that's what i thought he just he was. looked I, i've never yeah seen he's got a play. two up there so he looks like a running back yeah he's a running back jeez okay he looks big like a tight end i based on his picture i thought he was I mean, got yeah he's got massive arms yeah anyways all right well they can they can rock me in the comments for calling him a tight end <laughs> <laughs> all right not not steve young here I, hey, here's the thing though. People people were showing this guy love because they were saying too, check to see if this is actually a game worn jersey because there's not that many of these out there. Yeah. So people were showing this guy. People people were showing this guy love. Uh, I had a. So I I I mean I know I know when we first saw that it was San Francisco, we were thinking Montana, Steve Young, we were thinking Jerry Rice. I mean there was a lot of names that kind of jumped in my head. As to guys, I would love to kind of have on this card, especially number one. Like who who puts this guy number one? But yeah, a couple of Niners fans of mine 
texted me that I was really disrespecting the Niners in this video by not putting yeah uh, putting the crown on I Brian guess. Young's name. And I kept telling them And me not correcting Drew. Yeah. I freaking said Drew's name wrong. Dre. Yeah. That I said, listen, no offense to this Bryant Young guy. I'm sure he's great. I'm sure he's like an all time Hall of Famer, but he's not Steve Young. So like I don't <laughs> he's not as good as Steve Young. There's another there's another young on his team that is is better. That definitely so deserves that, that's tough. card number one for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I did notice the patches on these jerseys were kind of cool because they're the old jerseys. But yeah, it, this is the yeah. one that says uh, not from any specific game or event. But I don't know. Mm, okay. But yeah. Hey, if yeah. you like, I, I think there's a market. There's a market out there. I mean, people were excited about this card. So, but it, it is. It is you know, a player that you have to be a little bit deep into the San Francisco 49ers, I think, to to realize who this guy is. I never heard of him. Have you had you heard of him? Neither okay. have I. So no. I mean no. I'm sure he's great though. We love the Niners yeah. here on this channel. Okay. The big Yeah. The big one. The beautiful patch. Yes. This is insane. Um I mean if you're going to get a kicker, like this might be the guy. Well, this is the get. guy. It's a well Vinatieri might be the other one, but he's an old school player. Vinatieri. Yeah. Yeah. It's him. Uh so there's never been a sale of this card. There has been another comp uh out of 10 that was from a similar set, but the autograph's not as sick, the patch isn't as sick, so it's really hard to find a comp for this. Um I love Yeah, because do we have his is this is this patch? Is this on his uh shoulder? Is that what it's from? Yeah. To I think to get the yellow. It has to be that little shoulder. I don't know if you can see my map yeah. my mouse, but it has it's to be gotta that, be that thing. right? And it's like yeah. within there. Um and it's sick. Yeah, so the patch is awesome. I think they try to make uh lower numbered patches cooler, but I don't know. Like I don't know if all the tens come with these patches because there's never been a sale. So anyways, uh, I wanted to do a conservative estimate of 75 to 100. Uh, out of 10 is pretty sweet. He's still a relevant player. The Ravens are doing great. So I don't know. I Initially, I thought maybe 20, 30 bucks. Then we saw the 10. Yeah. Then we saw the 10 and we we're like, oh, shoot. Maybe this is a little bit more, but very impressed with this. And overall, like – Yeah, I was – I was thinking like sixty dollars, seventy is when I when I saw like the ten. Just knowing from some of the because uh, we have some autographs on eBay right now, and then I think we sold. Did we sell an autograph last year, last week? I can't remember. We did. We did autograph jerseys. We sold a couple right. autograph jerseys. So I I I kind of have an idea of where the autographs are, go right, and I've I've comped a decent amount of these cards now too. The thing with him though is like I think Ravens fans love this guy yes. Ravens guys love this guy so you know I think this card you could comp it like on the conservative side like you said at 75 but we uploaded a short with us pulling this card and there were multiple comments and multiple people reaching out to me on Twitter uh, on Instagram on different platforms as well asking you know, how do I get this card? So this will be, I think this is going to be one that on eBay is going to be fought after a little bit. And like you said, it, it hasn't been sold yet. Yeah. So there's not, you know, there's only 10 of these cards out there. So if you want one, now is your chance. Yeah. And the signature is just sick. I love how he puts he, the J, He has a great signature. The J into the T, these lines. It's a great signature. And maybe it's a little weak without number nine, but the nine just makes it amazing there with his number yeah it's it's a great signature i like it all right so overall though like when i was putting this together i was like wow we actually did pretty good on this box so where do you think we ended up total value on the box well i mean i did feel pretty solid you know we got the purdy we got um we got this obviously this card and a couple of the the number cards i thought were going to be a little bit more than than what they turned out to be so I was I was thinking like maybe we you know lost a hundred bucks on the box. All right. Maybe around two hundred dollars. Here we go. So three hundred out the door, then you can see here. Mm -hmm. I won't read all of these, but the bulk adds up, the rookies, bomb squad, purdy. I gave its own line. Babs. I gave its own line to Purdy there. That's this guy's <laughs> insane, Purdy, man. Um 
He's nuts. Imagine if he wins the Super Bowl this year. What's going to happen? I know, and that's that's part of the timing of being sports car. Like, do you hold Purdy? And we're not worrying about yeah. that, right? Like, we'll 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 sell. Hey, listen, one of you guys out there right now, go on eBay, buy buy this Purdy off of us for thirty five bucks. He's going to win the Super Bowl, and it's going to be worth seventy. And then you can flip, and laugh it, in our face, and we'll give you a high. We'll get no. We'll give you a high five. This is this is a community we're building over here. We want everyone to yes. win. That's what we want to have happen. And then not Steve Young for twenty. Then the Tucker bomb. I put a hundred on here <laughs> to make us feel a little better. And uh, okay, two sixty seven. Hey, back. we got close. Yeah. So that's a really good. Anything above fifty to sixty percent is like great. And uh, nowadays, right? <clears throat> that's what. That's why I, I heard. I heard. Uh, you know, back in the day, it might have been a little bit better, but nowadays, some of these hobby boxes you can get absolutely just destroyed. Yes, and especially if uh, right now, like some of these rookies still have potential. People still believe in these rookies right now, so it's a good time yes. to open this product um, for 2023 specifically. So I actually liked it. That was fun opening it, and uh, I was happy to do this analysis. But I'm still surprised, like. Um, we'll we'll open these boxes all day if it's returning this type of dollar in return. Yeah, Don Russ is a really really fun open because of how many different variations there are, how many different um, you know we didn't the inserts aren't crazy right. valuable you know we showed a couple of them, but I, I feel like there's just a lot of different variety when we you open these packs. And, um, you know, the opposite of like a prism, right? A, a prism, you pretty much are like, I just am trying to hit CJ Stroud on a parallel. Yes. Like I'm just trying to get a silver CJ Stroud. Or if you're doing like the blasters, I just watched a bunch of blasters, which we'll be having a video of us opening blasters here coming soon. But if you're doing the blasters on prism, it's like you're just trying to get the orange lasers on Stroud. Like that's just that's all you're trying to do. You're not you're not getting a not Steve Young patch, yeah. right? You're not getting a no name Purdy. There's just a lot of different variations. And um, I looked, we didn't have any of them. One thing we weren't even looking at, aqueous test. The the it, on the back of the cards, um, and this is even base cards on the back, it says aqueous test on it. I'm not even sure what that actually means. I didn't look it up. But it's in big text, and that's just like a short, another short print that you can get uh, out of this set. So I, I love opening this stuff. It's really fun. Wow. Obviously, we were hunting for the downtown. We did not find it in this uh, hobby box. Um, but we got three more videos coming up, 2022, 2021, and 2020. We're going to be opening all three of those hobby boxes. So if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on. Yes, considering we didn't get a downtown and we're still like break even, that's amazing. Imagine if we had pulled a downtown. Uh, we would have, yeah, I think we would have won a, uh, would have gotten a couple hundred yeah, bucks, I for think, sure, value wise sure. on this. And I love the, I love the design of the downtowns. I was doing some research, so I can't wait to. They're sick. I cannot dude. wait to hunt for some more in the next upcoming videos. Did you see? Uh, did you see the manga? No. I need to look at the mangas. Look, yeah, the mangas look sick. Crunch times are really sick too. There's a lot of there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can get out of these things. I like yeah. it. I like I like I like this product a lot. It's a it's a solid product. Some sometimes after ripping a box, maybe it's just our experience, but I'm like, never again will I spend money on that. But uh, I would put this up for yeah. spending money on this again for sure. Yeah, I'd be down to do another 2023 uh, hobby yeah. box for sure. We could we could uh, let's let's do uh, let's do what let's do. Let's do 350 likes. If this video gets 350 likes, we'll do another 2023 hobby box. Let's do that. 350. And if it gets like what's it the up. like percentage to where we do a case of this stuff cuz that's guaranteed a downtown baby. You, you love you love talking about the cases. Yeah. Here's the problem with the cases. The cases of this stuff is like is like 4 grand. What's the like number? Throw it out there. I'm down. Uh, we'll we'll do it. We'll do it if we hit two thousand oh likes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, dude. That's like how many people are gonna watch this video. So if everyone <laughs> that watches this video likes it, we're doing a case. And the, and the thing is, we're we're twenty five minutes into this video. The amount of people. Let's let's do that here. Let, we'll, we'll I'll show you. Watch. 
type in uh, tadpole. <laughs> if you if you got this far, if you got this far in the video, comment tadpole down below so I can show Sage how many few people are actually even listening to 25 minutes of this uh, financial breakdown. I think a lot of people, once they get to this screen, they're just like, all right, cool, got it. They lost they lost 33 bucks. Deuces. Tadpool's the real. So type in tad type in tadpool if you're a real uh yeah a real og and you stick around to the very end of these financial breakdowns with us yes yes all right well all right you got anything else is that no, it this was fun to do and looking forward to the next uh partner series yeah i can't wait for to see uh i want i, I can't wait for the auction on this uh tucker this tucker bomb yes I want, I want to see the Raven fans go freaking nuts after this. So, all right. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.